the fact that I got sick, like, the day after I posted the first episode of this, it's just proof that someone out there hates me. Hello there, and welcome back to another Splendivers episode of Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, we beat Chauncey, the killer baby bouncer, and in this episode, we're going to go through this hard door, which we would be unlocking, but I already unlocked it. I already got all the vines off of it, because this is proximity mines, or something similar to that. So, entering this area, of, <laughs> entering this door is a whole new area. The whole, all the rooms up to this point were area one. This is the, this is the start of area two. Right away, you can see we're dealing with a whole nother animal. <laughs> we're dealing with a whole nother alien. We're dealing with a whole nother animal. There's pots we can spend to get hearts and treasure out of them. There's, a oh, bats, bats. Bats are another common, like, Pest ghosts, much similar to the purple mouse and the blue mouse, only they're bats and they will fly down and they'll bite your face and you'll be sad. Alright, so right off the bat here, you can tell there's scary music, so let's go. Oh, more purple bats. There's yellow and purple bats. You look down this map and. No, 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 map. Cooperate with me now. We can see there's two unlock. No, stop it! Stop it right now! Okay, just had. I had to have that. We can see there's two unlocked doors in this area. There's one directly across the hall from others, and there's one through a bunch of turns and stuff. I don't like turns, and there's an unlocked door down those stairs into the basement. So let's say you, me, and everyone head on down there. No. No. Bad purple bats trying to munch on my blood in my face. Did it happen? Ah! No, I haven't gone over you yet. You can't exist yet. No. No. Alright, that right there, that is a ceiling surprise. There are a bunch of new ghosts that just appear in the hallway of all places. Ooh, lantern, I want to get money out of that. What? Even better! No, come here, come here, come here, come here. I haven't shown the purple mushroom yet, but it does shrink you, and you're adorable. You can't use your vacuum, but you can. <laughs> call I haven't gone over this yet, but if you press A, you call for Mario if there's nothing you can investigate. Like, if you're near a wall, you'll punch it, but if you're just standing out in the open... No, Luigi. There we go. You call for Mario. Mario. <laughs> Your voice is high pitched when you're tiny. It's, it's, it's. It, that's attention to detail. That's all right by me. So this is the door that was unlocked. So let's head on in here. And there doesn't appear to be anything. This machine looks interesting. It's really not though. Come here, all you mice. No, no living. No living. No living for you. Barrels. This could be handy in case of fire. You know, that's always what I think when I see barrels. Did that mouse just hit me? I swear to God, I'll kill you and your family and steal your cheese. Let's punch this or hump it. Oh, it's a bl no, no, no. Yeah, I thought he was gonna get away. All right, I have made a misdemeanor, miss fact. I did not say the right thing. Those blue ghosts—they are not called blue ghosts. I was confused because their brethren, their yellow brethren, are called the golden ghosts. Those are actually called speedy spirits, which is justified because they're much quicker than any other ghost you'll find because well they have a prize they aren't interested in fighting you they just run away like little pansies little pansies and that's all there was to down there well that that room will become more important later but you just want to pick up that speedy spirit if you're no get your stealing surprise i haven't gone over you yet wait your turn is it gonna happen no it's not gonna happen We'll go over what I keep saying is about to happen there. Let's... No! Stop it! Stop it, Purple Bomber! Stop it right now! Uh, they're gonna stop... They're not gonna stop showing up, so I guess I better go over the common ghosts that you'll find in the hallway. In the hallway, you'll find three new ghosts besides the bats. You will find a bowling ghost, which is a yellow ghost that we haven't seen yet that'll bowl a bomb at you, which is... Which is just fantastic. It's Skyward Sword before Skyward Sword was a thing. Pretty much so. That's pretty much so. This candle does not go out. That's important. Or not. It's also kind of scary. What was that sound? Did you hear that? That was kind of scary. The walls have ears. And mouths! The other two ghosts you find are the same variety. They're the purple and white ghosts we saw earlier. They'll come down from the ceiling and they go, Booga, 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 booga! But they won't really do much. Oh, here's a bowler ghost. Watch this. He pulls a bomb out of his mouth. And just, it just bowls at you. That's, that is a vomit bomb if I have ever seen one. No, get in my vacuum. All these new ghosts have only zero HP. So if you can get them on your vacuum, you can suck them right up. No problem whatsoever. whatsoever. The purple bombers and the ceiling surprise. And you go over those. Ceiling surprise do nothing but scare you. The purple bombers will drop a bomb on you. So you need to be wary of that. Because you have just a second to get out of its range after it drops down on you. Because they do surprise you for a second. And you can't move. 
this is the only, unlock, only other unlocked door in here, so let's, um, 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 um no, uh, uh, no, no, I don't want to hug, I don't want to hug, I want vacuum cleaning supplies, no, bad, no means no, no means no, you understand that, you understand the word no, 50 no's and yes means no, I don't want to hug from those guys, those are, well, you got will explain that, <laughs> looks like you're not through a bit of trouble, huh? Maybe you need more training! Those are some ghosts who try to grab and hold you. When that happens, try moving your control stick back and forth to shake them off. The only way you struggle for your survival, my boy! Don't lose heart, Luigi! <laughs> get it? Because when you get damaged, you lose heart. Those are grabber ghosts. Where's the key? Oh, the key's up there. Get, get down here. What do you even think you're doing? Freaking trying to escape me? No. You will not escape me. Alright, we skip, there's another room we can unlock in here. But we can scan this bathtub, which is always a good time. Looks like it hasn't got much use of late. Well, why don't you take a nice bath right in front of me? Right in front of me, Luigi. Nothing unusual here. Boring! You hurt that shell feelings. You know that, right, Luigi? You are just a heartless, heartless green douchebag. All right. The, the, those are grabber ghosts. Those are the white ghosts? The white the white grabber ghosts do not... Stealing surprise. Get out of here, you death, you death monger. Oh... <laughs> Vacuuming up vermin at every corner! That's Luigi Pest Control! Looky, looky, looky! Here comes Snooky! Luigi's Pest Control! Bow, bow! Is that copyright? I don't even freaking care. Alright, going down this hallway, go into this door, which is unlocked as we can see on our map, but before we do that, let's kinda. Uh, uh, you wanna believe me when I say you wanna pass that little crest in the hallway as much as you can, that little T shaped point, because there's a prize waiting for you if you just go over that enough times. I need to stop getting distracted. Grabber ghosts. White grabber ghosts will not hurt you. They'll just choke you you can shake them off. There are more violent grabber ghosts though, and we'll capture them later. White ones only have 10 HP, other ones have 20 or more. Actually, it's just 20. And another new ghost here in the ballroom. There are... Shy Guy ghosts. They're just dancing. They don't seem to have any actual interest in you. They will try to swing you through their pitch point. What you want to do is you want to suck off their masks because they can't see the light. And then suck them so much. Yeah, got them. <laughs> I thought they were going to get away. Now, if you kill one of their partners but don't kill the other one, they'll come after you. And that's only in this room. This is the only room where you'll encounter these guys and they're just dancing for no godforsaken reason. There's not even music. They're like, there's not even like the Luigi's Mansion music in here. This is just a, a ballroom. With nothing. I think so. Hang on, let me, let me hear. By the way, if you hear an awkward silence like that, uh, as I said in the beginning of this episode, I am getting, I'm still kind of sick. So if you hear an awkward silence, that means I was blowing my nose or coughing. And I just want to save you from, from, you know, or, or better yet, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that, that actually turned into a real cough. <laughs> See, I have asthma, and so when I, um, we were cleaning the garage the other week, uh, other week, other day, and, and, you know, it doesn't really affect me much anymore, but when it does, you can, you can tell. So you see me, well, that may be, but you'll never find my weakness. Oh, uh, these are the dancing couple, the, the dancers. What you want to do is wait till they give each other a vow. You can only see them... When they're on the, when you are on the mat and you are facing the opposite direction from them, you are not facing them. You have your back turned to them. That's the only time you'll really see them or catch them. And wow, I did that really quickly. Oh my goodness, I am so proud of everything I've ever achieved in my entire life. And that is actually a picture of the male dancer in in the the dancing couple. So that's that's nice. You'll see the portraits uh, throughout this mansion are pictures of the ghosts who inhabit this mansion. Like, we've seen pictures of Neville and Lydia that are on the wall, especially the ones that were talking to us in that first room. All right, we can go back there in this little supply closet. I didn't even know it was locked. Well, let's scan some things first. Anyways, the dancing couple. Oh, what's this? I should sure fetch a pretty penny. He's so surprised about this. Oh, what's this? Oh, I guess a nice penny. Is that Abraham Lincoln? Or Sean Connery? Oh, he's got a nice mustache. He looks like, he looks like the guy who played Iron Man. I can't think of his name right now, but... So let's move on from that. Let's, what other paintings are there? Thomas Jefferson! My favorite of the Jeffersons! Catching up with the Jeffersons. New on um, MTV, or whatever the Kardashians are on. Let's get money out of this lamp. I haven't, 
I haven't been searching for money in these rooms like I should be. There's not a lot to search. Like, these chairs don't have anything. Just not, not a thing. All right. So in this next room, you need to be prepared. Oh, wait, the dancing couple. You need to be facing the wrong direction on these tiles that are going to be turning. And when they bow to each other, that's your chances. Hit them with a flashlight and suck on them. That's what I was going to... I killed them too fast for my mouth to comprehend. All right, you need to be prepared for this room. Because you got to act fast or act broke. Because you're not going to get money. There's a speedy spirit we can get this room. But there's also a bunch of ghosts that are trying to prevent you from doing that. So you need... Be on your guard and quickly suck on these boxes. Suck on them. Suck on them with all you've got. Or crap, I was thinking of the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just gonna leave that where it was. You wanna punch this chair as fast as you can, and then get the ghost that comes out of it and suck on it so much that you'll never. Yeah. <laughs> before that pink punch. Ow! You got that purple puncher. I called him a pink puncher before. That's because he's pink. I'm not sure why he's called him a purple puncher. Hey! Get my vacuum! Get in it, get in it, get, get in so much of my vacuum. He's in my vacuum. Good. Alright, here's what we were talking what I was talking about earlier with the more violent grabber ghost. If this grabber ghost grabs you, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh, he will you will lose HP and money until he lets go. So you want to be wary of that. These grabber ghosts have more HP too. The white ones are harmless, red ones are not. There's also a blue one. It's just like the red one, only with... Would you... No! No, too! This was not the contract! I didn't sign a contract. I just got a postcard in the mail about a mansion I won. But if there were a contract that mentioned two ghosts at once, I would not do it. All right, what am I supposed to do in this room, anyways? You may be a little confused about this. Coins just... You hump a bucket and coins explode from it. That... Remember that, kids, for school. Alright, you can't see it from here. You can see in the mirror there, there's a little button on the back. It says, don't push. Well, that means you push it. You need to be careful about this. So many people have, like, not have missed that. I'm not sure why. It was always really obvious to me as a kid. Like, this is one of the first games I played, and it was really obvious. Well, that's not true. It was one of the first games I really could play because I could comprehend it. I played this game when I was, like, five this came out in 2001, I probably played it a year later. Maybe I was two. <laughs> Maybe I was two instead of five. No, I was six, I think. Maybe. A poster. Danger. Stranger danger. Oh, well, you know what they do, what they say about wanted posters? Rip them off the wall immediately. That is the saying you should always abide by. Is this another don't push button? Well, obviously, we must push it. Are you naive? Um. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Nope, 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 definitely shouldn't have done that. Who's that? Who does not have sleep? Oh no, it's Luigi. Look guys, Luigi's finally here. What going to do to you when did your brother? Only was? What's that on his back? It's he has plugs or dust 3000. Everybody scram. Everything about that was terrifying. And now my Game Boy Horror is terrifying. Luigi, are you okay? That was them! Those were the ones who released all the ghosts from the paintings in my gallery! Those fiends! I wonder where King Boo and his gang had gone! So now they're hiding in the mansion all along! Thanks for flushing them out, Luigi! I'm tickled you found them, but uh, uh, perhaps it would have been uh, better if you hadn't. Well, uh, let's have anything you want to escape. Just, just a suggestion, just just a thought. Oh, well, water, water under the bridge. You should probably come back to the lab for a sec. But I don't want to. Oh, teleportation. Your brother must have been taken by that gang of booze! Poor feather! Oh, don't go crazy! They're not gonna eat, man! Well, what became of them? Hmm! Odd that he hasn't come back! Common theory holds that booze go on a strike and they travel in numbers! They must somehow combine their powers, too! The power will likely be overwhelmed your brother! If your aim is to save Mario, there's only one thing to do it! Capture each booze! Slowly weaken the group's power! Yeah! But booze, as their name implied, like a jump out and scare people, you know! Boom! But if we got to work on finding them, <laughs> don't get so down in the mouth, my boy. That Game Boy Horror I gave you has a secret function. I knew it'd come in handy one day, so I developed it secretly. I called the blue radar. <laughs> blue radar, not blue radar. It will be blue most of the time, though. The blue radar will flash bright when something around the blue is hidden nearby. Use it to search everywhere, Luigi. Yeah. All right, now, Sonny. Don't go taking yourself out. Let's. Let's get those boobs one at a time. The trick is using a girl stick and the sea stick together. Don't forget now. Where are we going, Luigi? I will go to the mansion. 
So I haven't made note of this before, but this game was a lot smarter for the GameCube. By the way, bye, Egad. It's nice that you're sending me into a ghost film mansion again. I'm skipping the cutscene this time. I don't need to listen to its crap. So this game was a launch title for the GameCube, and the the era that the GameCube was in with the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox, it was revolutionary in that it had two analog sticks. This one being the C stick and the control stick. So, naturally, they wanted to do something in this game that would combine that, those two sticks, showing players that they can now use two sticks for their games. So, we went into this room, and that's what the boos are. So, when you enter a room, by the way, boos will be in a room that's all lit up, and you'll notice that your boo radar goes, that goes yellow. As we go out here, where there is no boos, where there are no boos, sorry, grammar classes, the, the, the boo radar is blue. The blue radar <laughs> The blue ray, let's just call it that from now on, because I'm going to mess it up every goddamn time. It starts flashing. The faster it flashes, the closer you are to something round that is like a boo. When it turns red, that means something round that's like a boo is in that object, and yes! Yes, we got the boo! So you want to keep your vacuum aimed on him? I failed the first boo that we found. Okay, good. He'll disappear into a room, and you've got to keep your vacuum on him using the control stick, and move around with... <laughs> Keep your vacuum on him using the C-Stick and move around with the control stick. Mercy, you've already cut your first boo. I've been researching those guys. Well, these boos don't seem to like a light much. But that's that's for sure. They do like the best eye on the furniture when they're stuck in the living room. So I reckon that it means turning on all the lights in the mansion is the fastest way to find all the boos. Wouldn't you say, youngster? All right, now send me the boo and all the death you got. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful, Mother Luigi. All right, now I need to explain boos a little bit more. Now, I, you notice I'm saying there's something round like a boo in places that have a red flashing. That's because there are two other kinds of things that are in there. Will we see one of them? No, we will see another boo. Both of By the way, all these all these boos have a pun name, which are which is just magical, really. Oh, there was no other round object in this room. I'm setting worth. We are like a leopard on the hunt. Now send me the boo and all the dead have you got. That's right, you can save after every single boo. No need to go talk to goddamn toads anymore. Who cares about them? Oh, it's already flashing. So that's what a lot of this game is going to be. Once you clear a room and light it up, you're going to look for the boo in it. Not every room has a boo. There are only 50 boos in the mansion. Holy crap! Game boo advanced! That's hilarious! Get the vacuum! Yeah! Ah, uh, yeah. He thought he was going to get away. You're on fire, Luigi! On fire! Now send me the boo and all the death you've got. I will do just that. Be careful now, Luigi! There are other things you can get instead of booze, and I will meet you in the study, you know, um, Leonard's room. Sure, let's go with that. I hate how when I want to suck a little bit at a game while recording it, so I can explain something properly, the game's like, YOU WIN A MILLION DOLLARS! But when I want to do good at something, it's like, OH, BY THE WAY, YOU GOT KILLED BY A SEAL! Okay. Another- Okay. Booze will go through walls, they will only- Well, that, that's not true. They will go into rooms that you have- They'll go into room adjacent rooms is what I'm trying to get into. I don't know why, why I was trying to structure that sentence in that way. All right, sending the boo and all that I got. Beep, bop, boop. Here it comes. There goes the data. Go to Lydia's room. Boos will go into adjacent rooms, and they will, if you give them enough time, hide there. They'll also go into hallways. If they go into a room that's dark, they will not lose HP nearly as fast. And holy crap, it's yummy delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Yum yum in my tum tum. <laughs> yes. Unbelievable. There's no stopping you, Luigi. That's some of the boo and all the dead we got. Yeah. And after you kill five boos. You've already found five boos. You're a boo snaring maniac. I understand you're worried about your brother, you fella, but take it easy. You have plenty of time still. So try to keep your shirt on. Why don't I go to the washroom and splash some water on your face? You'll feel much better. Believe me, you me. Believe you me. And if you look, there is now a new room unlocked in. In the first floor in area two. So now we can go there in the next episode. But we're going to finish explaining booze. And we're going to explain the episode. And that's how it's going to go. Alright. So hopefully I will not get it. There are two other things you can get instead of a boo. In the dark, booze will not lose H HP as, as nearly as fast. So you want to get rid of them as soon as possible. When you hear them giggle in a room, that means they have changed their position. Alright. Is this it? Son of a gun. Alright. There are two other things. We will encounter them in this LP. I have never gone a whole playthrough without encountering them. Sometimes, instead of a boo, you'll find a boo bomb or a boo ball. A boo bomb does exactly what you think it does. It explodes and it kills you, sets your hats on fire. It's, it's actually kind of funny. And the boo ball is just like a little basketball like this. You can suck it up and when you hit it against the wall, it disappears. And it's so fun. You can just be like, yeah! Playtime! Yeah! 
that's going to be all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, I am glad. In the next episode, we'll go down to Area 2, and we'll see what kind of damage we can do there in this match, and maybe set some things on fire. Who knows? We will, though. We will, we will gain the means of setting things on fire, which will be just good for everyone involved. Except for everyone. See you then. Bye-bye.